As we were waiting for the coin toss, hey, review everyone with them, make sure they're sure before we go out. So we asked the position coach to do that, but no, I didn't cover it in a meeting on the Super Bowl week. I don't think that changes anything. Um, we did it with our analytics department. We decided that going into the playoffs. I take into account what they say, what they think is right, and then I go off my gut in the heat of battle, and I knew what they felt going into it. And when I think about that during the moments I have to make the decision, I think the type of game it was did match what they felt was the best way to do. It did seem more like a field goal game. Um, and our defense had been out there for a real long time right before that. So uh, it was no, I didn't feel at all to override that at the time. If it was like the Super Bowl the year before, the one that seemed more like a shootout, I think I might have felt a little bit differently. Mm. And speaking of the defense, it ended up being 17 minutes, give or take, that the defense got to rest while the 49ers went on that first drive. So perhaps that was a layer to it. Mm. The decision did not work out. Uh, reaction, though, to Kyle Shanahan doubling down, Peter, on his decision uh, to take the ball in overtime. All right, so we came out on Monday morning. It was fresh, and everyone had their takes. Uh, yeah. There had never been an overtime in the Super Bowl since the new overtime rules, of course. So there's no database of like, well, the eight times it's happened, mm -hmm. this is what these teams have. So this is fresh. This is me, the, the Patriots won the toss, went down the field and scored. Yeah, yeah. that was so it. So the Falcons yep. never got the ball no, in They overtime. changed the rule after right. the 2021 divisional round. We haven't had overtime since. So there's no database of what it is. Now, the rules at home, if you're not aware, and if you're watching NFL Network, now you surely are, is that no matter what, both teams get at least one possession. Mm -hmm. All right? Even if the first team scores a touchdown, the other team gets a chance to match it. And even if time runs out. And if time runs out in that overtime session, which I don't think anyone imagined it would, but it nearly did, 15 minutes, it's okay. That second team gets a chance to have that full possession, whatever it is. They decided to defer. Fred Warner was quick to say, uh, to receive. Fred Warner was quick to say, we'll take the ball. And I, I said it on Monday. At my Super Bowl party that I was at, mm -hmm. there was mixed emotions and mixed <laughs> thoughts. Like, and one guy, Wes, was at the corner. He's like, their defense has to be absolutely gassed. They were just on the field for all the time. That's why they're receiving. I'm like, I didn't think of that. But everyone else is saying, yeah, but this is Mahomes. You don't want to, you don't, you don't want to have give Mahomes last licks in this thing. That makes the pressure. You have to score on the first mm -hmm. drive. The debate is it is is ever is never ending. This this is where I come out. Kyle Shanahan is an offensive coach. He trusts his team. He's receiving the ball. He thinks his team is going to score a touchdown. If he thinks his team is going to score a touchdown and he thinks there's a chance that Mahomes scores a touchdown on the way back, that would give the 49ers the edge in the top of the second inning is what I would call it, the top of the second. Yeah. Because then it's a sudden death game. I like that. And they get the ball. Yeah. So we're scoring a touchdown. We're scoring. That's Kyle Shanahan. That's the same way Dan Campbell is. We are scoring this touchdown. That said, when they had the opportunity on fourth and four in overtime, they opted to take a field goal. Mm. This is what it is, Peter. I'm going to go with the baseball thing. You finish the nine innings, and you make your decisions for the tenth inning based on the eleventh inning. You know what I mean? Like, you assume mm -hmm. what happens in the tenth. Totally. And then in the tenth inning, you decide a double is okay, and you're not going right. for the whole run. Mm. So Sacrifice. there was a lot. Mm. There's questions within the strategy, because if you're going to go that strategy, not only do you try to score a touchdown, you might say, we're going for two. Mm -hmm. So that, that we're, there's no way we're losing to Mahomes. So we're scoring a touchdown, and then we're going for two. And at the very best, all they can do is tie. And then we get the ball back, Our and then possession. we have sudden death. Look, it's been torn apart a thousand times. There's also things like Kittle ran off with an injury. You have three new timeouts. Yeah. They didn't call a timeout. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. the clock is ticking. They could have called a timeout, let Kittle get checked out, get him back. True. It's so easy to analyze now on yeah. Wednesday and Tuesday. I can't kill the decision mm -hmm. that Shanahan decided to receive it. And he's saying here, we have analytics guys. They have a team. They're in Silicon Valley. They are a very well-staffed team. They're the team that flies 500 mm -hmm. full-time employees to the Super Bowl on, pri on planes that they charter. There's no shortage of resources. They have the best minds in football. <laughs> and the decision trickled down to Shanahan, and they decided it long beforehand. We are receiving in overtime in the playoffs. Whether the players knew it or not, again, I didn't make as big of a deal of it as others, but you could tear it apart also if you need. But I have a hard time questioning all the minds that went into it, but of course it's easy to be a Wednesday morning quarterback. The next layer to the baseball analogy to me also is the decision to go for the field goal versus the touchdown on fourth and four, which is the mm -hmm. third base coach deciding to send a guy mm -hmm. when he's coming from second or holding him. And it's like, what would have transpired mm -hmm. if you had sent him and there was a play at the plate? That's Good like... Call. Well, they yeah. went for fourth and one, or fourth and three earlier in the game, right. and they, were, they converted it in yeah. a big spot. And so you're like, if you're playing that Riverboat Gambler style and the Dan Campbell style and Sean Payton style, yeah. go, go, 
you don't kick the field goal. You don't say, okay, we're giving the ball to Mahomes. Mahomes is going to score. You know that. Like, that's just what he does. Seven for seven, he does it. Um, So the strategy, you got to be, like, fully in on the strategy. And maybe in hindsight... Listen, listening to him talk, one thing I took from it was he said it was kind of a field goal game. And you originally look at it, you heard Andy Reid said like he didn't, he didn't know exactly why. He said Kyle Shannon is a very smart coach, so I think he has to have his reasons for deciding to take the ball in overtime. Andy Reid, their approach, if they would have won the toss, he said it, we would have been on defense. In the aftermath of it all, even hearing Mahomes say, had they scored the touchdown, the 49ers that is, when the Chiefs got the ball, if they scored, we were going for two. There was never going to be a third possession. He said that. Great point. And you make a great point, Peter, in the fact of this is brand new. So no one really knows the strategy that one coach might have going into this. But what I took away from Shanahan's thoughts, which I respect, of him taking into account that the defense had been on the field, him taking into account that for the most part of this game, it had been a defensive battle. So, yes, Mahomes is going to go down there and score a touchdown, as we're saying. But throughout the course of this game, that wasn't the case. Harrison Butker was the guy making field goals. So in his defense, he's saying, all right, Mm -hmm. we get the ball. We're not going to go for the touchdown because we're going to kick the field goal. Our defense just rested up on the sideline. I have all the belief in the world that, yes, the Chiefs may take the ball down the field. We're going to stop them and force them to kick a field goal and still be in this game. So I understand the train of thought. And, yes, the analytics department, they go crazy. And you heard the Chiefs say that they have a guy, Mike Frazier, who went through every scenario leading up into this game. And I'm sure the 49ers did that as well. They just did it for the coaching staff. In hindsight, yes, you put your defense on the field, tired or not. Mm -hmm. The approach, like college, no difference of knowing what the other team has and you go down there and you now have an opportunity to match it. I get his reasoning makes total sense to me of where his team was in the moment. I think we all talk about analytics in this game. Hearing Shanahan talk about analytics but also taking into account the way the game was going made a lot of sense to me. There needs to be a bigger checks and balance for the analytics department. You go and you hear them. There needs to be a, a common sense department where it's like, <laughs> I get what they said, but listen, we're here. Well, let us get your opinion so we can just kind of push back against that. You can't just take it from them. And listen, it's a field goal game. It's a field goal game. It's a Chiefs game. Like, that's never mind. You're playing Mahomes. He's going to score. Like Peter said, you're going to do it. Mm-hmm. They basically gave him an extra down. Yeah. True. Like, you, you now know, Patrick, we can't stop you, no one can stop you, and we're going to give you an extra down regardless. It's just interesting. Like, the, the Chiefs had a fourth and one on their own 34. They would have punted. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. Maybe they go for it, run the same play, and it works. I don't know. I, I still have a problem with it. I do. And who am I? I'm not Kyle Shanahan. Oh, it's okay. I'm just someone watching the game. The defense resting, like, it sounds like a court. The defense, not the defense. The defense resting, like, we got multiple commercial breaks. It's a Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Sit down, have some Gatorade. Yeah, like, yeah. We're not doing an Iron Man here. You guys are in really good shape. Tough I, I, mutter. I, yeah, yeah, it's not some tough mutter crawling under barbed wire. Yeah. Like, this is going to be a long commercial for all kinds of stuff. I still think it, I think it was the wrong call. I, I think you let him go, and then you know what you're dealing with. In fact, you gave Mahomes to know he's dealing with. I, I think he'll regret it.